most males like Breaking Benjamin are possessive freaks. Um, they're like, well, that's my female. That's my female. And she can't love anybody else. So if a girl has any sort of like, any sort of like likings outside of um, who she's a mated with they like freak out and stuff like it's okay for a guy to window shop but it's not okay for a girl to window shop a lot of males feel this way like they're very they're very full of themselves and like they they're just possessive as heck um anyway so the fact that i'm not interested in joe the hobo <coughs> makes breaking benjamin insecure about himself now I say these people, these I say the stars' names and stuff because that's what they want. They want me to look schizophrenic and stuff when I'm really, when I'm obviously just calling them out. Um, and they've got it like really messed up and stuff to where they can be like, "Well, you're just narcissistic. That's why you hit on us and stuff." It's like, whatever. You're not anybody. Um, honestly, what have you done? You you play a guitar and you kill people. I mean, what 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 am I supposed to say? Congratulations. Bravo, bravo. That's real difficult. So anyway, even I could do that. Anyway, um, they're just, they're weird about any sort of, like, female sexuality or anything. Like, if you have a sex drive, it's, like, somehow wrong. Like, it's, like, you're just there for them to hump. And it's, like, this is really pathetic because, like, I like the dictator. And, like, um, yeah, he's the one I dream about every single night. And then they turn it into a big thing. Like, Rome is, like, hope dies painless. All the guilt and all the glory. All the stories overheard. And it's, like, forever entwined, forever enthroned. Hope dies painless with me. It's, like, how profound. Honestly, profoundly retarded. Like, of course I like guys that I'm not, like, mated with. Um... If you honestly want me to have a relationship with a guy, I'm not going to have his baby because, like, my equal's an absolute loser. Like, no offense or anything. Like, Z, I don't know if you're actually a loser or not. Like, I'm just saying that if you like me, you probably are. It's nothing like, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything. I'm just saying that decent guys aren't attracted to me because I don't have anything going on, if you know what I mean. So, I usually, like, I was just single for a long time and I kind of avoid them and stuff. I'm going to get my teeth fixed, but it's going to be pretty expensive. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. Honestly, I, I would tell the guy I'm on a date, too. I'm not going to have your kid. I'm going to go to a bar and try to size something up decent. I mean, honestly. Um, not that a bar is a great mingling place, but you can find a lot of, like, college guys there. And you can kind of, like, stalk them for a while and figure out what their real lives are and stuff. Oh, they'll never hit on me. Well, let's see here. Now, this is totally skanky of me, but I've spent a lot of times at bars. I used to work in one and a lot of other things and stuff. And, you know, it's midnight. You have about a 12-pack in you. You're, you'll do anything. Um, and then I'll just go home to my little uh, incompetent husband and, like, then we'll have a kid that'll actually have a chance. Now, if they psychotronically edit my kid, I'll just automatically abandon him. <laughs>